task of me to. In, in our human experience, as well, though, do we not reach a point where we just get sick of this? <coughs> it can happen, but that wouldn't that necessarily mean that mm. we would die. Mm. In a sense, I suppose you could say what we call physical death is a sort of tiredness, a bit of maintaining the idea of me. Mm -hmm. And then there's a... And it's the end of that, that apparent energy. You see, liberation in a way is that uh, um, the initial separation is, like, is as though an energy creates a centre in us called me. And it's held here as a me, uh, and in a tight mm. centre here. And it walks around and tries to negotiate with the world. But this me is actually everything contracted into a sense of me. Liberation is simply the explosion of me out into everything again. So everything becomes me. And when everything becomes me, there's no me here anymore. There is only everything. I heard I'm not saying... Um with the, you brought the centre and the circumference. So is that something similar there? Similar. Yeah. Yeah. You're everything and nothing. Yeah. 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 Tony, can there be a sense of, um, like an egg tile, we won't say an egg tile, but as, can there be a sense of, as, as you're moving out of the, of the horizontal, back to the vertical, a sense of it sort of happening? Yeah. And not in time as such, but like, it's coming, it's all right, and it's something that we look Well, no, but that's an idea that there's some way of getting nearer to oneness. No, no I'm not meaning that, but can there be a sense of being magnetised back to the vertical? Well, of course, that's all that's happening all the time, in a sense. You could say, if, if you see people as being on a journey, they're not on a journey, but they appear to be living through the process of separation, but finally reaching liberation. But then that's if you presume that, that life is a happening. When liberation arises, it's seen that that wasn't anything that happened. So it's nothing to do with any kind of understanding. Mm. John? <laughs> <laughs> is he still on track? He's still. Well, I'm under life. So perseverance <laughs> brings enlightenment. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do we have to leave? Yeah, lovely, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. It seems like I'm always looking for some kind of answer to it. Yes. There's no answer. No, the, the Sikh is always looking for an answer to life, and <laughs> life is the answer. And I see that, that just seems to happen, yeah. like I go into that or whatever way. It just seems to, that total fascination of what happens, seems to happen. Yeah. And then it go, goes away again because it thinks that, oh, there's something else, this yeah. can't be it. Yeah, no, no, no. More, yeah. It can't just be this. No, so no absolutely, it. because as far as the secret is concerned, this isn't it. Mm. Uh, there's something else that's better than this. This is the mind's fascination with the idea of what it thinks in that and is. It's something amazing and exciting, it's champagne bottles and all that. It can't possibly be just this. Because, of course, the seeker doesn't understand what this is. Mm. The seeker can't comprehend this. And you just can't stop that from happening? No. Just When you say we can't, the seeker can't comprehend this, but what do you mean? <coughs> well, this is without seeker. Mm. All there is is this. At the end, when seeking ends, it suddenly, suddenly all there is is this. So all the times there's seeking, the seeking, the seeker can't comprehend this because there's a seeker. What, you know, nothing has been lost, but all the time there's something that thinks something has been lost, it can't see that nothing has been lost. So it's not as boring as it looks. <laughs> 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 it's 
for the lost is the key, and that, so they're always trying to find it. Yeah, the whole problem of mm. the seeker is that they believe they are someone who has lost something. <coughs> which is a, so that's the fundamental Mental, yeah. misconception yeah. of all seeking and of all <coughs> teaching of becoming is that there's something, so someone that, who's that, lost something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who can then find it? Mm, mm. You, immediately you go down the road that there's someone who's lost that's something that they can find. find. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to express the idea that I can accept everything you're saying and... I wouldn't want you to. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but just for the time That's being... That's the whole point of this. Yeah, but just for the time being, listening to you, or watching uh, DVDs or whatever. Um, and then, you know, in the world you find yourself coming out with your own ideas mm. that have nothing to do with that. You know, you still have your own mm. spiritual concepts. Apparently. Apparently. That's what happens. Yeah. This, but really, this, you know, what we're talking about here is completely beyond concept. The concepts of beings. You know, when you say you don't accept everything that I'm saying, I, there, there isn't anything I'm saying. I said I did accept mm -hmm. you. Said, yeah. But then you find yourself. You know, there's all these other ideas floating around. You know. Um, well, I suppose what I'm trying to say is that this isn't uh, uh, this isn't about exchanging ideas. Yeah. What is it about? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I, think I thought I'd cut, catch you out there. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony, the fact that all of us are seekers. Oh, so a seeker. Well, not no. no. You, you're the fact that you are a seeker. Okay. You can. Um, it would make me feel that there, there must that sense of loss. It must be about something that apparently is huge. Spend so much effort. Mm. Mm. So there must be something there, some clue somewhere buried. It's not buried. Everything that's happening is the clue. Life is what, what you're looking for is something else, whereas what you're sitting in is what you're looking for. It's not there, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> Does it help to hug trees or things? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Proportions are very ideal. <laughs> I mean, all these ideas we've been talking about, <coughs> in a sense, there have been ideas that we've been talking about, but what we, this is pointing to is beyond ideas. It's not about yeah. getting an understanding or having an idea or, or comprehending some notion. And it's certainly not about anything that's abstract. It's not about finding some abstract state. It simply is the discovery that all there is is this. All there is is what's happening. What in what is happening is the open secret. It's open because it's already everything. Mm -hmm. What we look for is already everything. It remains hidden all the time we look for it. Mm -hmm. Thank you.